Hey everybody, this is Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about estate planning and bank accounts. Before I get to there though, before I get to that, if you uh, need more help, if you have questions, if um, you just wanna talk, you can go to estatemeeting.com. You can set up a time to talk with me over the phone or in person for free, estatemeeting.com. Okay, uh, today's topic comes from a client that I talked to today and some of the things that they were dealing with. Um, their, uh, their parent had just passed away and they were sort of working through um, the process of that. They had created a trust and uh, thought they had funded the trust and done everything correctly. And then they called me and come to find out that maybe they had not. So I wanna talk to you about how bank accounts work in the context of estate planning just so you can be sure that you're doing the right thing so that you can sh be sure you're not leaving out like that one account that's going to require a probate that you have taken care of um, so that you can sort of you know um, just deal with the with the important things when it comes to a loved one you know and they're passing so often what you'll find is as people age they will add people to their bank accounts i always suggest that you don't do that and when i talk about add people there are really two ways that you can be added to a bank account one is that you can you can literally be added as a joint account holder if it's important to know if you add someone as a joint account holder to your bank account and you die that person will become the owner of that bank account so if you don't want them to do that don't add them as a joint account holder number two you can also add someone as a signer on your account someone that has the authority to sort of use the account and sign on the account um, that is fine but if you're going to do that, if you're going to take the time to go to the bank and do that, take the time to put together a full-fledged power of attorney and medical power of attorney. It will do the things that you want, it will do those same things, but it will also give that person a lot more authority to do the other things in your life that you will want them to do eventually um, that are not being taken care of by just adding them as a signer on the account. Okay, so those two things. The reason you don't wanna, the reason you may not, by the way, sort of jump back, the reason that you may not want to add someone as a account holder on your bank account is because if they do something um, dastardly if they incur some liability in some way your account could be potentially on the hook for that um, they if somebody declares bankruptcy or if somebody um, is involved in an accident and is at fault that account if it's seen deemed to be sort of part of the of the ownership interest of that other person could be wiped out that's why we want to be very, very careful about this stuff. Um, the other thing to remember, the sort of the third concept that I really want you to know about bank accounts is that you can set up uh, uh, beneficiary-like designations on a regular checking account, on a regular savings account. They're often referred to as transfer on death designations. You really want to make sure that you've got this done for two reasons. A, if you've got a trust, you want to make sure that those funds flow into that trust when your loved one passes away and b if you don't have a trust if you're just using a will or if you're just doing your other uh, sort of like normal uh, sort of uh, foundational estate planning you can ensure that the funds in that bank account pass to the people that you care about without having to go through probate without having to go through that cost that time through that experience um, you can make sure that they don't have to go through that um, and the money flows straight to them directly but to do that you have to go and and complete a transfer on death designation. You can give the funds in that account to as many different people as you want. You can give it to them in percentages or in dollar amounts. It's up to you, but if you don't sign the form, if you don't complete the form, it won't work. All right, so that's a little bank account 101 with, related, with regard to estate planning. If you have any extra questions, again, as always, you can um, set up a time to talk with me over the phone or in person for free, estate meeting.com if you need help if you don't have any estate planning done and you want to get some done i can also help you with that again estatemeeting.com starts that entire process all right hopefully you have a great day great week a great everything i will uh, probably be back here tomorrow to talk to you again until that time 